Our modern understanding of DNA and heredity has been the result of more than a century and a half of work from many individuals who contributed significant pieces of the puzzle, many as a result of their lives' work. Charles Darwin, in The Origin of Species, lamented that the laws governing inheritance were for the most part unknown, referred to variability, which was governed by many unknown laws. That was one of the great flaws of his uh, work at the time. He could not understand heredity. Gregor Mendel performed experiments about the time of Darwin, which would have answered many of his questions, but Mendel's work was largely unappreciated until the early 1900s. In 1928, Griffith demonstrated that was, there was a physical molecule which was the agent of heredity. In other words, genetic information was passed down by a physical something that uh, physically moved uh, between cells. And later variations on his experiment demonstrated that it was DNA. Many individuals did not believe this because DNA was rather simple compared to, say, to the great diversity of proteins. And so therefore, you know, the genetic code for organisms as complex as humans should certainly be proteins instead of the simpler DNA. But Hershey and Chase demonstrated that it was DNA and not protein, which was the genetic code, as they experimented with viruses which infect bacteria and took advantage of the fact that DNA has phosphorus while protein does not and protein has sulfur while DNA does not and so radioactive uh, labels uh, of phosphorus or sulfur could trace these two molecules. Shargaff in the 1950s demonstrated that the amount of adenine is always equal to the amount of thymine and the amount of guanine is always equal to the amount of cytosine. This would be critical in determining the structure of DNA. And Rosalind Franklin took pictures which would uh, be the key to understanding the double helix nature of DNA. Unfortunately, her work was not appreciated at the time, while the pictures were significant, she did not understand that it was her pictures which had played such a crucial role, and she died young of ovarian cancer, and tragically, the Nobel Prize cannot be granted after death. Watson and Crick took advantage of Rosalind Franklin's great pictures, and they determined the structure of DNA, and so they determined that uh, double helix, the spaces between the nucleotides, the fact that there is a sugar phosphate backbone, and the nitrogenous bases are the rungs of this twisted ladder in the middle. And these are some of the experiments which laid the foundation for our modern understanding of DNA.